Hey everyone, welcome to Encore, and today I'm just going to share an idea with you guys on how to organize your compacts. Hey everyone, welcome back. So I found the six drawer organizer from Ikea and it's on casters, so which is great because I can just kind of move it around the room and place it wherever I wanted it. And I thought in one of the drawers, I'm going to create an organizer that's going to fit some of my compacts, and that's a combination of skin finishes, blushes, cream color bases, and some of the 5 gram jars as well. So after doing some measurements and uh, a little bit of uh, craft work, I came up with this. So in this column, you'll see that I have my large face compacts, and that's a combination of bronzers, face powders, mineralized skin finishes, and over in this column right here are all the blushes, and I have powder blushes and cream blushes in there, and then right here are cream color bases, and it also fits some, you know, some other compacts, which I added right here. And then right in this column, I have some 5 gram jars. So in this video, I'm going to show you step by step on how I created the organizers. And it might sound a little technical, but once you get the idea, it's actually pretty easy to make. And you can always refer to my organizing lipstick video, because it pretty much shares the same concept. Okay, the first step is taking some measurements. So using a ruler, what I'm going to need to do is measure the inside dimensions of the drawer. For this project, I measured in centimeters, and this drawer's inside dimension measures 39 centimeters vertically and 24 centimeters horizontally. And then next, I measured the compacts and the 5 gram jar, and it, it is best to round the measurements up to the next half centimeter, starting with the largest, which is, in this case is my mineralized skin finish. And this measures a little over 7 centimeters, so I rounded that up to 7.5 centimeters. Next, the blush compact measured almost 6 centimeters, so rounding that to 6. And then the cream color base measures about 5 centimeters, and the 5 gram jar measures about 3 centimeters. But for this project, I'm going to round that measurement to 4 centimeters. Next, I measured the depth of the thickest container, which is in this case is the 5 gram jar, and it measures 2 centimeters. Now that I have the measurements, I'm going to determine if the layout of the compacts will fit nicely in the drawer. And at the same time, I'm going to determine how many horizontal and vertical dividers I'm going to be needing for the organizer. And to do this, it's just simple math. To check if the layout fits, I simply added all the compact and jar measurements together. The total is 22 and a half centimeters, and to make it easier, I rounded that up to 23 centimeters. And it still leaves an extra centimeter, which I'm going to use as a margin at the end of each of my dividers. Now dividing that by 2 gives me a half centimeter margin on each end of the dividers. Now to determine how many vertical dividers I'm going to be needing, I pretty much just arranged the compacts side by side and counted the spaces in between, including the outside spaces. As shown in your screen in yellow lines, I'm going to need five vertical dividers. Now to determine how many horizontal dividers I'm going to be needing, I simply deducted one centimeter margin from the vertical measurement, which is 39 centimeters. So that gives me 38 centimeters. And then I divided that simply by 2 centimeters, which is the thickness of the thickest container. And that gave me 19, which is the number of rows that will fit in the drawer. And then I added 1 to that to compensate for the end divider, which now gave me a total of 20 dividers to make. Okay, now I'm ready to cut my dividers. Now this is a great opportunity to recycle some of the cardboard boxes that's laying around your house, whether it's an empty tissue box, just like this, or ideally, you can recycle these soda boxes because it's long enough for the project that you're going to be doing. You can also purchase some of these poster boards that you can buy pretty much anywhere from your local drug stores, craft stores, uh, office supply stores, and they're not that expensive. They're about 69 cents to about $3 depending on where you're going to find it. 
or you know if your little ones probably doing some artwork and they decided that they don't want that or they made a boob or something it's a great way to recycle those poster boards that they don't want okay now I started cutting the vertical and horizontal dividers using the measurements that I have noted earlier now 24 centimeters long for the horizontal dividers and 39 centimeters long for the uh, vertical dividers now the height I set at 6 centimeters. Now this is determined simply by calculating 80% of the largest compact's diameter, which is the mineralized skin finish, and that measured 7.5 centimeters. This will enable the largest compact to stick out just a little bit so that you can grab a hold of it and pull it out of the compartment easily. Okay, here I already cut 20 strips. That's going to be my horizontal dividers and I only cut four of the vertical dividers. Now the fifth vertical divider is actually going to come from cutting one of the vertical dividers in half later. Next I divided each divider into four equal segments by drawing lines across using a pencil. Now each segment measures one and a half centimeters wide and I marked the end margins as well by lining with a pencil and as determined earlier that measures half a cent centimeter each from both edges. Now I'm going to work on the vertical dividers. From the marked half centimeter margin I measured two centimeters which is the thickness of the thickest jar and lined it using a pencil. Now I continue doing this until I reach the other end margin and then I simply repeated the procedure on all four vertical dividers. Then I cut one of the vertical dividers in half by cutting straight through the three centimeter mark line and now this makes my vertical dividers a total of five dividers. Now following each two centimeter lines including the margin lines I simply cut slits from the bottom edge stopping at the one and a half centimeter marker line. Now I repeated this with every line drawn and the same was done with the second piece. Now for the next two vertical dividers, which measures six centimeters wide, I cut the slits, but this time to the three centimeter marker line. And then for the last vertical divider, I simply snip the top one and a half centimeters off as indicated in your screen. And then I cut the slits once again to the three centimeter marker line. Now I have five vertical dividers with slits that looks like these two measuring three centimeters wide, one that's measuring four and a half centimeters wide, and two that measures six centimeters wide. Now I will refer to these later on as narrow, medium, and wide vertical dividers. Next, I'm going to work on the horizontal dividers. Now I started by measuring seven and a half centimeters from the margin line and lined it with pencil. Now from that line, I measured six centimeters and lined that with a, with a pencil as well. And then again from that line, I measured five centimeters, lined it with a pencil, and the remaining should automatically measure four centimeters to the margin line. Okay, next, I measured half a centimeter from the seven and a half centimeter marker line and the six centimeter marker line. Now using a pencil, I lined both from the top edge to the three centimeter line as indicated on your screen by the yellow arrows. I then cut the section indicated in blue so that the divider looks like this. Then I cut out the indicated blue section so that the divider now looks like this. Then I proceeded by cutting slits following the three lines shown with yellow arrows on your screen to the three centimeter marker line. Now slits were cut in the two remaining lines as shown with red arrows to the four and a half centimeter line. Then I rounded the corners of the little tabs as shown here in flashing blue. Now this step is optional. Using a circle puncher, I punched out a half circle from the four centimeter area. Now this will create a finger tab that will make it easy to pull out the five gram jars when I need it. Now the horizontal divider should look like this. I basically repeated a procedure to the remaining 19 re dividers. Okay, so now I'm ready to assemble. I started with the outer dividers first. So I laid out two horizontal dividers and one narrow 
vertical divider, which is the 3 centimeter wide one, and then one wide 6 centimeter vertical divider, just like you see on your screen. Then matching the corresponding slits, I inserted the slits together to build the outer foundation. Next, I simply inserted all the horizontal dividers. Then I inserted the medium middle vertical divider. Now this is the one that measured four and a half centimeters wide. Now this took some time and patience as it is the hardest piece to add. Then after that I added the other wide divider and the remaining narrow divider. Then I placed the assembled unit into the drawer and I simply filled it with my compacts and drawers. Okay, so hopefully that helped you guys out the next time you think of organizing your compacts. And thanks for joining me. Until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.